liberty to learn life long. Today is the 5th of May and it's Liberation Day in the Netherlands, where we celebrate that we're free, free to do whatever we want. Even in these uh, special Corona times, we have the freedom to have the thoughts, but also especially to take the actions we want within certain limitations. I'm here at the Canadian War Cemetery. 2,619 young soldiers are buried here. And today you see they're all beautiful tulips, our orange uh, national color to commemorate them. Normally, what we cannot do today, normally we uh, lit last night, the commemorative evening, uh, lit uh, almost 2700 candles here. That's not allowed now, so people were kind enough to arrange this. Now, the liberty to learn lifelong, how great is that? In these times, a lot of people take the initiative to learn new things. I first started singing lessons and do all kinds of new learning. And I learn a lot. You know, I, I've written seven books. I had the pleasure. You know, one of them is this, uh, Raise Your LQ, Your Love Quotient. Uh, it's all in, in Dutch, so it has to come out in English. Another one is this one. Is it the setback or is it the chance? Another one is this one. Be the best you can be. And I had this huge privilege every year of my life. This year I'm 40 five years in business, can you mention it in training with Pine Power and Couple Power, to learn. I spent at least a month learning and it's such a privilege because the more you learn often the less you learn. We learn, but you take us to the next level, you get more vulnerable, you, it's easier to ask for help. And these, especially standing here, these kids have just started learning or didn't have it, had an opportunity to learn. And my parents, when they were in the concentration camps, was it during the years they were supposed to go to, to study and they couldn't then. So how privileged are we? The liberty for lifelong learning. So I want to impress that on all of us to use these days, these special times, and only to commemorate these fantastic soldiers and commemorate whoever. And know that we're still totally in freedom. People who compare these days like it's war days, they're out of their mind. They're totally crazy. They have no idea what they're talking about. You talk to people who survived the Second World War, who've been in many hiding places on concentration camps. So that is a totally different thing. So let's learn from all of this. That's my suggestion today. The liberty for lifelong learning. Stay healthy, stay well, be blessed. See you soon. Bye-bye.